people knew and people were aware. And so it was just bringing folks together and I see that I'm not alone. How many people do you expect? I see maybe already there's uh, 40, 50, 60 people maybe already. Maybe 100, maybe more. I don't know. So it's not even 5 o'clock yet. So we are excited that the people are coming out on a, I think today is a Wednesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, and we're going to make our voices heard. And what was your reaction when you heard that this decision, uh, the draft, had been circulated and released? I was just mad. I was angry. I was... Um, hurt, um, but we also knew this moment was coming, um, and so I be I felt more empowered to make sure we can do more uh, to make sure that the, the message is out there for the people. They, we've got to vote. We've got to. We cannot stay home in these midterms. Besides voting, what can state legislators or members of Congress do? Well, members of Congress right now in the House, they've already passed uh, the Women's Health Protection Act. That needs to get passed in the Senate. They need to uh, they need to overturn the filibuster, and they need to get passed in the Senate. So that's what needs to happen. State legislators, we need to make sure that we can get uh, Ron DeSantis out and get a more of a majority in more of a majority in uh, in the state in the state House and the state Senate. Representative Rainer, thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much.